Hey, what's up everyone? You're watching Raw Fishing Channel, and I'm your host, Jimmy Lee. And today I'll be doing my second MTP unboxing mystery tackle box. If you guys haven't watched my very first one yet, check out the card in the description below. It'll link you to my very first unboxing of mystery tackle box. So, let's get started. So, I'm just gonna go through uh, what's in this box. I'm gonna talk a little bit about them. And I'm actually gonna do something new today. I'm gonna actually give my MTP boxes a rating going forward. Uh, so hold your thoughts for a second. I'm going to get to it a little later uh, after I go through everything in this box. So, got the card right here, which I'm not going to show you guys yet because I'm going to just walk you through the lures. So the very first one is really cool. It's called a Whopper Plopper by River to Sea. It is $13.64. I guess that's the MSRP there. So here we go. This is it. Whopper Plopper, 90 and this one is, let's see what it says here, 0.4 ounce, three and a half inches, and this one is called Blue Blood. Blue Blood. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's unbox it. So this is basically a top water lure. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like a pencil bait at first because it's like a like a little stick. But let me move this out of the way. Let's put it like that. There we go. Sticky hooks. All right, so I'm gonna hold it right right here, just like that. All right, so it's a you know a top water bait, and it looks like a pencil bait, but they have this little propeller thing right here. When you pull it through the water, it spins. I'm not quite sure where which side it spins. I think it might spin this way. So um, yeah, very very nice. Definitely uh, something I'll love to try. I've seen this before. And uh, I just never bought it. And I think that's, that's the purpose of Mystery Tackle Box, right? They talk about, you know, there's so many lures out there. You never know what, uh, what to try, what's good and whatnot. Most likely, everything they put in the box are something really good. And this is so far pretty uh, good because, uh, I, like I said, I've, I've read about it. I want to use it. Just never had a chance to buy it. But here it is. So how I'm going to use this, especially since this is uh, coming spring, is that I'm going to hit a lot of shallow flats. Um, anything with weed beds that's kind of start emerging but not really at the surface yet. I want to cover these on those body water. It looks like either A, a bait fish, or uh, a fish feeding on bait fish. So um, whether it looks like commotion of um, a bait trying to escape or a fish actively searching and feeding on bait fish. So that will attract any sort of predator fish like bass, pickerel, snakeheads, you name them. So, really awesome. Put it on the side. Move on to the next one. Again, that's a Whopper Plopper uh, by River to Sea. The next one is Swagger Jig by Buddha Baits. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Six dollars and forty-nine cents. So, basically, it's a bladed swim jig, like a charter bait, and this is a three-eighth ounce. I really like the color so far. Uh, this is by far one of my favorite uh, swim jig color. So just just make it a latest swim jig, then that's uh, something really really awesome. I love chartreuse white combination. Uh, looking at the skirt, I'm pulling on a little bit. Looks pretty good quality. Uh, this is an extremely long shank hook. So I'm curious what kind of uh, good baits I could put on here. Um, actually, I have an idea on what to put on. Um, so I can talk a little bit about that later on this video. But, you know, the head of this jig is really nice, too. Um, so, and then this blade looks like it's just, at, you know, directly onto the, uh, the eye of the um, jig. So, I don't think this will ever come off, I don't think. So, look, look, looking good. So, uh, I've been using Chatterbait last year since I love swim jigs. Uh, and I have pretty good success with it. You know, you can cover a lot of water with these guys. Uh, just like a plain uh, uh, swim jig, but adding the extra vibration is act extra attraction when um, everything is active. You can even slow roll at the bottom or cover any part of the water uh, water column with these guys. You can fish erratic or you know a slow like I said a slow roll in a specific water column. It's very really really successful. So put this guy inside. Again, that's Swagger Jig by Buddha Baits. All right, the next one is oh that's a brand new lure in the market. All right, so here it is, uh, Biwa Armored Crawl. Biwa is a Japanese brand, and this is uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. basically a skipping lure. That's pretty cool. 
So let's um, let's see. Let's read this again. So B2A scented. I'm not sure what that is. Probably some sort of a formula they have. Um, it says French design for tournament anglers, anglers, but it's from Japan. With test. Ooh, smells like uh, some sort of infused garlic, like a uh, somewhat similar to Berkeley uh, lures. But anyway, wow, look at that. It does have some mass on it. Let's take a take a look at that. So what I like about this lure so far is that the body is really, really. Uh, it's soft, but it's thick. That's, I guess, the best way to describe it. It's compact, which allows, uh, I guess, with the weight that it has. Listen to this. It has some good weight to it. So definitely, it's skipping material. Um, the claws are pretty awesome. It has like a bulk, bulky claw right here, so it kind of wobble all over the place. And it says tough armor, but the plastic looks pretty. Pretty durable, so I like it. I like the colors too. This is a uh, looks like a green pumpkin, green pumpkinish uh, color. I love green pumpkin and watermelon with some sort of red f flakes. Um, in fact, a lot of crawdads I, uh, that I have around my area, if it's uh, potentially you know this color right here, sometimes it also has some sort of a red um, color to it too. So this this is perfect uh, uh, fishing uh, most of my areas. So I like in color already. Now, another thing about these right here, they have some slots right here. This so make it weedless. And uh, this side have another slot right here. So one slot here, one slot here. This side will be, uh, allow you to hide part of your bend of your hook so that it allows it to skip a lot better. Because if you have, you know, your, 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 uh, the shank of the hook, the bend of the hook uh, popping out your lure, sometimes it could, it could disrupt your skipping ability. But I think having uh, this right there will help that. So this is really cool. Uh, it says four inches, but you know, if you actually maybe add the antennas, it might be four inches. Uh, maybe even up to, yeah, I think even up to the, the claws, it may not be four inches. But if we were to subtract the claws and antenna, you know, I think this might even be like less than three inches for what kind of hooks you could actually use. So I'm assuming something uh, that uses this is pretty small. But let's put this to the side for now. Because I see some hooks in the future uh, down the list, so we'll talk about those later. But the next one is actually uh, this one right here. Oh, by the way, the Biwa um, Armor Crawl is $3.99 for a pack of four. Sorry about that. But the next one is Biospawn Exostick Pro. Alright, I always want to use these, uh, these brands as well. I heard a lot of good things about it, and uh, I've looked at it, and I really like the design. They have a lot of salt on these guys. Uh, it's three dollars. This pack right here with a pack of four. Uh, I like this color too. It's kind of like a reddish um, night crawler color. So it has some green flakes on it. But since it's a plastic, let's do this. Lift test and this maybe licorice. I have no idea. But uh, look at that. Definitely a little greasy here. So it has some grease, some scent. Um, the color is really really nice. It has a lot of action. They say these uh, are very buoyant in the water, especially if you look at the, the profile of this lure right here. Let's talk about the first thing right here. You see that this lure right here thickens in the middle, then it tapers off to the thinnest part of the body, then it thickens again. So this allows the tail to have a lot of action. So you can rig this in many ways. Uh, let's see, it looks like there, there's uh, suggestions in the back here. Texas rig, wacky rig, um, wacky jig. Shaky head, definitely shaky head because it's sh shake a lot. Carolina rigging and drop shot, definitely drop shot. I'm a drop sh shot guy, so I definitely use this for drop shotting. But I'm looking at this floor and I'm thinking I could use something else. Definitely that's not listed here. Uh, I think this floor would uh, be excellent uh, Nico rig uh, lure. If you guys don't know what the Nico rig lure, it is a type of, I guess you say wacky rig. So wacky rig, you typically you hook it kind of um, perpendicular to your lure. But instead, for Nico rig, you actually rig it um, on the side. So let's say the lure is facing up this way. You hook hook it through here, and you actually put a weight on one end of your uh, your lure so that it actually drags at the bottom of uh, the water. So it actually imitates like a crayfish bouncing backwards. So like like this. So 
And I specifically, if I were to rig this, I would rig the head of this uh, to be the bottom part where you put the weight because on the top part of the head right here, because it's everything here is buoyant and this guy, because it had that little tapered side, so everything wobbles like crazy. I would put the weight there and have it wobble like that. Now, if you put it on the other side, you can kind of see that, you know, the head is really just, just sticking up and it goes back up. For this guy, it kind of dangles and when you, when you put a little bit of motion to it, it, it goes all over the place. So if you haven't looked up uh, or tried a Nico rig, look it up, see how it works. Uh, there are ways to rig up that in a weedless manner. Um, and it should be really, really effective fishing. Uh, and if you guys, like I said, not, every, not everybody noticed a technique because it's pretty new out there. If you're fishing any place with a high pressured area and you want to put something new out there, try the Nico rig. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about this lure, um, just by looking at it. Uh, so if you look at the profile of these lures, you can see every segment is like a cone. So I do a lot of lure modification, uh, especially when the lure, you use the lure and you know, start being torn up and you want to cut the bait and reuse it in a downside situation for finesse fishing. And when you do so, you cut the lure and the head of the lure, you know, it's like too bulky and you got to trim it some more or some, uh, sometimes you would try your best, but because it's like the sheer bulkness of the head, it's not streamlined anymore and it impacts the action of the lure especially when you're pulling it through the water it doesn't have that um you know good profile going through the water anymore i'm looking at this and because every segment is like a cone if i need to remove three of these sections right here for a small profile you could clearly see that because they're cone shaped if i were to remove let's say this part right here you could, you could almost see that you know it's it's going to look exactly the same thing uh just one segment shorter so i like these lures because you could um easily modify it and still kind of keep that profile right there and uh, it would retain some of uh, retain some of that action so exostate I talked a lot about this lure I'm really excited using it so yeah talk about that right Ooh. all right so last thing in here is the Daiichi bleeding bait hooks and it's two per pack 128 so here you go so these are basically red hooks and um, red hooks, they say that it imitates basic blood from any sort of bait, like bait fish, and it kind of trigger more reaction strikes because now you're looking at a lure with potentially an injured part of it and blood is coming out. So, you know, people uh, swear by red hooks. Um, I don't see a big difference. Uh, in some of my fishing, especially my, some of my fi finesse fishing, but potentially I think people who use faster lures, uh, you know, so fish don't really get to see much of the profile, but they do see that red shine. Uh, I think that that's where, um, you know, red hooks may shine better. But uh, let's take a look at, look at these. It doesn't say what size here. So let's take a look. There's something here. Okay. So it's a small hook for lizards and larger hook for crawl. Hmm. So they're supposed to be two different sizes, right? Uh, let's, let's just do this. Take these two hooks out, put them side. Oh look, they, it does look uh, look like they're different sizes. They are. Uh, all right, I don't need to hold them all the way through, but here you go. You can see that they're different sizes. So they said the bigger one is for a crawl. Well, I don't have any. This is my only crawl here, and I don't think I could put the big hook here. I could barely hook it, hook this there, and you know it's gonna be right here at the edge. I think one or two uh, hook up, this thing would tear. So I'll probably use the bigger hook uh, for my uh, bio spawn, the exo stick. And let's take a look at this smaller guy. Ah, this this guy is perfect. You see that? Let me flip this around. That this will go perfect here. In fact, uh, when I talked about this earlier, that one, you know, with this lure right here, it has. A slot on both sides, one side to really hide the hook uh, for weedless, and one side is actually to bury the shank of the hook. Yeah, definitely, if you were uh, to do skipping, you definitely don't want those wide bend hooks. This is actually perfect, and it's paired really, really well with this uh, this lure right here for skipping. So I really like, I like this. Um, too bad it only came in one hook here, so I better not lose this. So yeah, that completes that. Uh, of everything within this box other than my card which I already scratched 
and I did not win, unfortunately. Uh, I have KVD, two bobbers, bass, crankbait, and a crawl, and I would have lawn coons, polarized, fit over sunglasses. Too bad for me. All right, so now that's over with. That's a pretty, pretty good box here, I think. Um, as I mentioned earlier, going forward, what I want to like, uh, want to do is give a rating to my boxes that I get going forward. And, you know, I want to start off with only a couple things in consideration. Uh, but you guys let me know if you want to add more things to the list. But basically, right now, I'm just basing on three key components on my ratings. So the very first one is, just st step back for a second. So when I, before I subscribed to uh, Mystery Tackle Box, I talked to Mystery Tackle Box and I asked them, so how do you guys determine what kind of lures go into each box? Because you guys said you guys could pack good lures for people and try to make sure that they get the best out of the, the box. So they said they try to choose lures that will fit the specific season and also they want to bundle in lures that can work in any situation. So with that said, Right now, it's March 2016. This is basically my pre-spawn season. So if I were to rate these lures right here, I would say, you know, all these lures are really good in pre-spawn and it, in, I guess all of them, it could be used in any situation uh, besides the whopper plopper. I may not use that in cold water condition. Um, swim jigs, I may not use it in the, the coldest, coldest month. Potentially it, it would would work. I'm still new to uh, bladed baits, uh, swim jigs, but I do use a lot of, uh, you know, regular uh, jig and pigging. I don't think it applies the same way. Armor crawl, definitely if I wait it, I don't know if uh, skipping it will work because skipping usually entails some sort of shallow water. Potentially maybe if you have deep docks uh, near drop-offs, potentially I could skip it into the docks, uh, maybe catch something. Exo stick, definitely I could use it in uh, any situation. Hooks or hooks. So. Overall, I think this box really is really good. I would give it a five in that category for whether, you know, how well it's got packed for a specific season. So the next item I have here is what's the value? So I did subscribe for six months only. So I'm basically paying $14.25 per month. But let's just pretend that I bought this by a month by month case, which is Fifteen dollars a box. Well, take a look at the prices here, uh, and, and these are our MSRP. So I, I'm sure we could all get these baits a little, little cheaper. But if I were to just drop off, you know, the last remaining digits of these right here. So let's just do a quick math here. Thirteen dollars plus six, you got nineteen plus nine three, twenty-two. That's already over fifteen dollars. So I don't need to add the rest. So I think for uh, bang for the buck right here, definitely awesome. So I'll give it another five. And lastly, I, I know a lot of people would love to complete the slam. And I read a lot about rules of the slam. And, you know, I think if I were to do a slam, what I want to do is use as much, ex you know, uh, as least amount of things from out of the box. So, you know, I got to use my rod. I got to use my reel. I got to use my line. But I don't want to use anything else uh, outside of, you know, these lures right here. So, you know, let's go back to, you know, the first lure, you know, it's by itself, so it's good already. The swim, uh, the, the swim jig, the bladed swim jig, you know, typically I throw some sort of trailer on here. And, you know, I'm looking at these, you know, I have two soft plastics here. I have this guy right here, and I have worm. I usually don't throw these guys on, on those. I mean, I guess I could fit the exo stick on there, but... Potentially, it may work because the, the the profile of the tail and make you know swim all over the place, so it may work. But the color is not really; it doesn't match really well with it. If I would put something on this swim jig, I usually would put something like you know a a grub tail or you know one of these type of uh, profile uh, swim baits with a paddle tail on it. So you know, I don't think I would throw this bear, but it, it would work. But in this slam case, I would probably throw this bear or with this guy right here. So I'm not too pleased about that. Um, exo stick and the B was armor crawl. You know, I got two hooks here. 
but they they should pair really well. I'm pretty confident I'll catch something with this, and I love using crawls and creatures and. I don't really know what to categorize this. You know, it's definitely a crawl, but it looks almost like a beaver too. But uh, it's a skipping crawl, right? But yeah, definitely these hooks pair well with the two soft plastic. So I like that. So out of everything, I don't think that poor this guy didn't really get, uh, you know, paired up with anything really, really well. But overall, it was a good package. Uh, everything else kind of paired or worked solo. So I think for the ease of the slam, I would give this a 3.75. So if we would average all, all three numbers, uh, can't really do it on the top of my head, I guess. Um, so five plus five plus 3.75, you get 13.75, divide by three, and whatever that figure is, boom, it's right there. So that's my rating for uh, this box right here. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys like how I rated these? Or if you guys want to add a couple other elements in there, you know, let me know. Or you guys don't care about my rating. Or you, just, you, guys, you guys wanted to see what's in the box and, you know, how I would use the lures. Let me know. Leave me some feedback. Uh, thank you for your time, for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully I can get these guys out there for my slam. And hopefully I get a video out soon. Because, you know, I couldn't do the last slam from last month because due to the, you know, ice and everything. So I'm really stoked. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys catch a nice pre-spawn bass. Peace out.